We're back to the Neil Haley Show here on the Total Celebrity Segment. I'm excited to welcome her to my special host today, Kim Sorrell, author of Love Is. Kim, how are you? And I know you're excited about our guests today. And one is a surprise guest, but you're going to introduce our first guest that's doing unbelievably amazing things. The stories he's getting all over the place, the, it's blowing up this story, and it's an amazing, inspiring story. So Kim, introduce our guest. Antoine Miller, I am your biggest fan. I just want oh. you to know that. Um, you have done so much to help so many kids and growing and growing and growing. And it's so exciting. But you have been playing instruments, from what I understand, since you were a kid. I don't know if you were a prodigy or, or what, but uh, <laughs> what a great opportunity that you you were playing music. And then you played for the Marching 100, right? Yes, ma'am. I did. It had to be quite an experience too. It was the experience of a lifetime. It was the best thing I've experienced in my life. And to be a part of a band with such great caliber, you know, the Marching 100 is the band that started the traditional style of marching. So what we implement comes from the Florida a and concept. Wow. Wow, that's so cool. And now you've started this nonprofit. Yes, ma'am. Kids uh, connect with music, right? Yes, ma'am. Yeah. So yeah, we have the so we have the SOS Community Marching Band. It's uh based out of Riviera Beach, Florida. Our services is offered to anyone five years old to twenty three with or without experience. Uh, myself and all of my team, we've been working with the schools for a while, so we're very comfortable with training. It's a it's a process that goes with it. It's a you know it's a learning experience. But to me, the most beautiful thing is getting kids into college. I love the end of the year when I do my award ceremonies. I'm able to announce what college these kids are going to when they come back and they give. So the program have done some incredible things over the last four years. And Antoine, we have a special guest with us that's helping that's right. with, helping with the movement. So tell us. That's right. So I'm happy to introduce that we have. Uh, Mr. Willie Spence, who will be actually traveling with us on this journey to London. Uh, Willie Spence is also from a uh, native from Riviera Beach, as myself as well. And yes. uh, his voice, his voice, his voice, like his voice, is what attracted me when I heard him sing. And then when I heard about this invitation, I said, "Man, this would be the best collab to have the community marching band from Riviera Beach, and then to have this awesome, powerful." voice from Riviera Beach that have also made headlines. It, it's just the best thing. So I'm happy to introduce Mr. Willie Spence. <laughs> All right. Thank you. Thank you so much. Yeah, Mr. Willie, we are thrilled to see you and thrilled to have you. And I have to say, when I heard you sing All of Me, I thought, John, you better move over because Holy cow, Willie, you stole that song. It was beautiful, wonderful. American Idol had to be quite an experience for you. Right. Yes, it was one of the best experiences of my life, yes. Absolutely. Yeah. So Willie, how did you and Antoine connect? How did that happen? Well, um, I met him down in Riviera at one of the shows that I was singing at because the band was performing at the same show. Wasn't it downtown? It was. Uh, downtown. Yeah, I believe it was downtown City Place. Yes. And that was the first time, you know, I met him and, you know, he told me what he wanted to do. And, we, you know, we stayed in contact with each other ever since then. That's fantastic. Yeah. Antoine, I've got a question for you. Sure. So uh, I believe you started out with middle schoolers. Is that, that correct? No, the history of the band, we actually started the band off with adults. It was an adult community marching band at first. Uh, and then I just wanted to do, I wanted to have a program that would give more of our youth something to be engaged in. Because, you know, after a time, I realized that we as adults, we already had our time. We already marched in our high school and collegiate level bands, and we have already traveled and performed. I, you know, I thought that it would be best to, you know, give back to our kids. So that's what made me convert the band over. And that this that actually took place last year. This was the first year that we were converted to all uh, youth. And it was the best experience because it, it kind of put me back in mode as a, as a former teacher where I had all of these kids, literally the whole entire band last year had no experience. And their first performance was at the Florida a and University Homecoming Battle with the Bands, which was literally six weeks later. So they, it took them six weeks to perform the show that they did. And they did so well that they were invited to perform at the Florida Classics, which, which is like one of the highest events you can perform in here in Florida. That's, that's when Florida a and played with them Cookman. And then from there, it just took off. So everything that you guys seen, all the videos from last year, those kids just learned. It's not even, it hasn't even been a full year. 
My gosh, and that's amazing, that journey. And why, why the power of music for you that you want to help these kids? What, what, uh, tell us the reason for music and how you, you have this movement. Well, to me, music has a deep, it's, to me personally, it's a deeper passion because, you know, I came up in band and uh, drew, I, I started playing band in middle school. And I remember I had a teacher uh, who was just like myself. Like I, I, I come from the same environment as my students. So I had parents who couldn't afford, you know, to pay for all of our trips and our uniforms or whatnot. And I can clearly remember my sixth grade year, uh, my middle school band going to a performance in Tallahassee. And because my parents were not financially, you know, inclined, I was, I had to sit out and miss that performance. And I can remember all the kids coming back, explaining how much fun the trip was. And that kind of like, it kind of crushed my spirit. So I, I made sure as the director that I didn't want any kid to go through that experience that I felt, you know, because you, you never know what people is going through at home. So I wanted to create a, a program where your financial situation wouldn't stop you from still participating you know, especially when you've been down that line before. So to me, that was the main purpose of building the program. And then all of the travels and exposures came just with the energy and the exposure of the band. Like I can honestly say when I started this band four years ago, I didn't see it being to where it is today. I'm just thankful for the journey, you know, but it's just the energy that the band has that it just keep attracting different, you know, people for invitations and performances. Yeah, it's amazing. You know, it's amazing how, adversity brought you to where you are right and I know that Willie you've had some tough times in your life as well yes absolutely you know you know going up you know having to move from a big city to a smaller town you know my parents giving up their career to raise me you know so yeah and I'm just you know I'm grateful I'm grateful of the outcome now. I would have never thought that I would have done, you know, American Idol. I would have never thought that I would be, you know, traveling with the SOS marching band to London, you know, all of this. You know, I'm just grateful. Antoine, how did you come up with this idea for London? What made you so want this to happen to go to London? Well, at first, I didn't think that it was a real thing, if I have to be honest. I received okay. the email. And when I seen it, it said, you know, it, first of all, it was a weird email address that I just, I wasn't familiar with. So I read the email, but honestly, I, it's a lot of scammers out there. So I was like, okay, this is not going to be a serious <laughs> thing. And so I got the second email and the guy was just so persistent. He was like, who doesn't want an opportunity to perform in London? So I said, okay, let me go ahead and read it more. And then in the, in the email, he provided a Zoom link that we could schedule so he can actually explain it. It was a real thing. So it was the third email when he sent over, like I said, the official information we met in person and he was just explaining all of the great opportunities. And I was just like, wow, this was real. And then the main question that I asked, asked everyone else, I said, well, how did you find me? How did you find SOS out of all of the many great levels of band in, in, you know, in America? And he said, he simply went in Google and he typed in community marching band and it was the first band to pop up. And he said, if he clicked on the videos, and when he clicked on the videos, he said it was the energy that the band had that ultimately attracted him to, you know, inviting us over to London. So it was just, to me, I just call it, it was just faith. <laughs> yeah, that's huge. That's huge. Yes, but, ma'am. But when you do watch your band, you can, I can totally understand why just uh, watching it for a couple minutes, he would be drawn to that and want to see you. And you've done a pretty amazing job of working with community leaders and businesses in the community, right, to make stuff happen? Oh, yes. Yeah, I have uh, built some great partnerships uh, so far. You know, while I'm moving, we are partnering with our local city here in Riviera Beach. Uh, our facility is, we were, we're held at, on the school campus, so we're with our local district as well. Uh, we, you know, we do provide transportation for our kids. So I, uh, we have uh, two buses that go pick kids up from school and bring them over here. The only issue, if I have to be honest, is that I'm, uh, I'm independently, uh, we do everything independently. So we don't have, you know, the financial support to help us to keep the program going. But by the grace of God, it has been going successful, you know, for four years. But uh, it's, it, it's, it is a lot of energy because even myself, not only am, am I the band director, but I'm also the after-school bus driver. And I have to go pick all the kids up myself. And then, 
after doing that, I have to then bring them in here. We also have a homework help program. So we assist the kids with their homework. Because we get out so late, our main goal is to make sure that all the homework is done before rehearsals. Sometimes that can last for two hours into rehearsals. And I'm, you know, it's also the, um, the director as well. So I wear many hats, but I'm thankful for each and every single opportunity for it because ultimately it's helping the next trial that who can tell what they may be in the future. I could be helping the next president, honestly, or the, my wow. next doctor. <laughs> you know, so. Wow. Oh my gosh. So, Willie, what made you so impressed by what Antoine's doing with these kids that made you want to do it? You know, my first time watching the band, they were incredible. Seeing those kids out there, you know, playing was amazing. And seeing how Antoine mentors these kids and take these kids in is amazing to me especially knowing this is happening in my hometown. This is going on, you know, where I grew up at is so amazing. And I'm just honored. I'm honored to this day for Antoine to even, you know, ask me to be a part of something that is so monumental and something that is so big, you know, and I'm just, you know, I'm grateful and I'm proud of him. I'm proud of SOS. Billy, that's so sweet and you're so humble and so kind and it's amazing. And and for both of you, Antoine, I know that uh, in running a nonprofit myself that chasing dollars is uh, a full-time job all by itself. Like that yes, can be so difficult. And I am praying that people that are listening to this right now want to get involved and want okay. to help help out the cause and that you get some great donors so you, you're not having to chase it so much. So if people oh, yeah. wanted to donate to you, how would they do that? Sure. Well, you can donate through our website, which is www.soswarriors.com. Uh, or you can also call the, the band room, which is 561-331-5038. We also have a, uh, a, a QR code that uh, we, that's going to be released later on today as well, that they can scan and it'll take them directly into the our link, which is through Fundly. So we do have a Fundly account that's uh, that's set up, but if you go directly to our website, it'll take you directly to the Fundly account. So Antoine, with this whole trip to London, it is possible now, right? You've raised enough money or are you close to what's going on in the whole process? No, we're, we're still far. We're still far from our goal. It's a, it's a hard struggle. And uh, as Ms. Kim mentioned, you know, running a, a nonprofit is hard. Not only is it time consuming, but you know, it also you invest a lot. So what we're looking for right now, we're most desperately, we're desperately looking for, um, for, for sponsors. We have to have a hundred thousand, you know, to them by September as a deposit for us to even get started. And that's literally like, you know, pretty much, you know, a month away from now. So we're, we're trying to get the word out to as many people as possible to please help the SOS band. We have been chosen to represent all of America and her beauty. And we're going to do a great job when we get over there with your donations it contributes so will That's you believe, right. and will you believe this is good how much are you seeing this you know sending it out to your followers and everyone how important it is definitely i'm definitely going to tell everyone i know this is extremely important you know <clears throat> it's extremely important this this is like a dream for these kids. This is a dream for me. So this is important. And we have to get the funds. We have to get your support. Everyone's support for this. So people what? listening, especially on, you know, entrepreneurs out there, people want to, or or businesses that want to sponsor this amazing thing, go out, reach out to Antoine. But go ahead, Kim. Yeah. I mean, if you're gonna sponsor something in life, or if you've not given anything, give, give. Give, give. And I just want to add on because it's a once in a lifetime opportunity for the kids. Like yeah. I have to speak truthfully, all the kids in this program are from the same community. Honestly, without those uh, donations, the kids would not be a able to afford the trip. You know, it, it is pretty expensive, but I just going back to myself, I don't want the kids to lose out on this. And not just the kids, but everyone involved. We don't want to lose out on this great opportunity because of a, of a financial burden. And, you know, it's just, we just ready to go showcase our talents, you know, around the world, but starting off with London, you know, so we were desperately depending on the community support. All right. Yeah. So um, Kim, such great information. Antoine, again, give us the website one more time. Sure. The website is www.soswarriors.com. Once again, www.soswarriors.com. And Willie, where can we connect with you? Instagram, best place? Instagram is Willie Spence Official. 
and Facebook, Willie Spence. Fantastic. People need to connect with you. And what's new with your career to update people? What's going on with you, bro? Well, I'm currently, well, my I have a gospel EP that's finished. I just finished recording it last week. And I have a new song that's coming out next month, the beginning of next month. And hopefully, well, the EP is coming out this year for sure, but the single is coming out next month and I'm excited about it. So, yeah. What, what is the name of the single? The single is called Breakthrough. Mm. Yeah, Breakthrough. So stay tuned. Everyone stay tuned for this. All right. And I'm so proud for you too, Willie, on that. Yeah. Thanks. It's exciting. Thanks. It's exciting, and Antoine, I know you're going to reach your goal. Just believe it, and it's going to happen. You know, I most yeah. definitely do, and I thank you all. Yeah, the, the people need to donate, and then they know exactly where to go. And, and it's also one thing I want to add in. It's also going to be an educational experience, because while over in London, the kids will have a chance to do a workshop with all of the other bands from around the world. You know, it's going to be a way for the kids to increase their musical skills. And then most importantly, it's something that the kids can add onto their college resumes when it's, at, when it's time for them to go off. So it is just very important. Uh -huh. It's huge. It's huge. And increase their confidence. That's right. And in increase their world. Yeah. Right? Oh, most definitely. Yeah. All right. And Kim, where can we connect with you? Where's the best place? Uh, Kim Sorrell.com. I'm literally the only Kim Sorrell spelled my way in the <laughs> entire world. Way too many letters. S-O-R-R-E-L-L-E. -L -L -E. I need a new web address or something. But Kim Sorrell.com, my uh, latest book, Love Is is um, out there and brick and mortar stores are on, online. And I am trying to start a love movement because I really believe love will change the world. And Willie and Antoine, I would love to have your addresses. I'd love to send you guys a copy. Oh, wow. I, I think yeah, I, I would absolutely love it. Yeah. We're definitely, we're definitely yeah. going to do that right after this interview is over, guys. I appreciate it. You check me out on neilhaley.com, the media giant. And it was amazing to talk to both you Willie and Antoine. Willie, can you sing us a little something to close out so that people will say, this is just a taste of what you can get from Willie if the, the, the sponsorship comes for Antoine and his amazing band. Go ahead. We need your support. Thank you. <laughs> I love See, it. I, I, I would it. do the same thing, but if I saw your people, probably would log off. So I'm not going <laughs> to go down that road. <laughs> no problem. We appreciate you guys. Again, this was the great Neil Haley show. You're listening and watching the Neil Haley show, and we'll be back in just a moment.